Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today this is going to be a kind of different type of video. I'm going to just chat here and um, see what comes out of my mouth and hopefully something coherent happens. <laughs> But seriously, this is um, aimed really at the iFam, but obviously everyone, everyone else can listen too. Um, but I have questions, okay? So, as many of you know, the Inghams, Chris in particular, brought out his little online course recently. And uh, I said that I don't think he'll sell any because of the price range right 400 pounds it's a lot of money and i just thought no no chance his target audience will not have that sort of money to play around with this sort of thing right and um it seems i was wrong right i was wrong i don't know how many have bought but i have seen people comment that they have bought the the course right so Here's where I need to draw the line. I need to ask IFAM a series of questions. And I'm not going to be nasty. I'm not even not even going to be nasty towards the Inghams in this video. Right? I'm going to be sensible and just ask various questions. And if any IFAM can let me know what they think after this video, please do. I would be grateful for the information because i'm seriously at a loss right so as many people know i very very rarely talk about um chris and the allegations mainly because it's it happened obviously and it was a bad thing and uh, you know times moved on it's a long time ago and there's also big bigger issues to deal with in the sense that he's um, ruining his kids lives anyway that's another story but what i want to say here is to the ifam why why do you trust chris when you are paying 400 pounds to his, his course right why do you trust him why do you trust him to deliver what he says he's do doing why do you trust him to do anything? That's a lot, a lot of money, a lot of money, and you are trusting him to with everything that he's saying to you. You're believing him, right? I I need to know why. Here are information. This is information rather that I've um, I have noted down here, and this is facts. It's not me making things up. I'm not being slanderous. I'm not. Um, I'm not talking shit about Chris or any of the family. I am just purely going to state facts. And I need to know why you would give a man like this £400 on a whim. So, Chris, um, back in 2018, uh, you probably remember. And if you are a newer iFam, maybe you don't even know. I don't know. Back in 2018, Chris did message inappropriately, in my opinion, very, very inappropriately, a 16-year-old. Right? This 16-year-old at the time was very, um, quite newly 16, so she'd only just turned 16. And, uh, you know, so had recently been 15, if you see what I'm saying. He did do that. That's it's not me making this up. It's not speculation. It's not rumors and you know and things like that. That is has been proven to have actually happened, right? And the things that you may not know surrounding that incident, because you might have just heard off the cuff that he did it, or he's rumored to have done it, or whatever. He did do it. But what happened was during a Disney trip in 2017, he messaged this girl and she was alone in her hotel room. It was midnight and Chris was 
offering or suggesting that he come over to her hotel room and she's only just turned 16 and she's alone in her hotel room at night at midnight and Chris wants to come over there that as you can imagine put yourself in her shoes no matter what else you think put yourself in her shoes and just think that that's going to be quite scary that's going to be quite scary that a random person yes he's off the internet yes he's off youtube but a random person that you don't actually know wants to come over to your hotel room at midnight that's got to be quite scary i would imagine On another night, he also offers to, he asks the same girl to go out and meet him. He asks this girl to sneak out of her hotel room to meet him at, I think it was like one in the morning or something like that. And... Aside from asking this 16-year-old, remember, newly 16-year-old, to sneak out whilst her family slept in the hotel room, he was offering to do that whilst his own kids lay asleep in his hotel room. So, I mean, that is quite... That's not a very, you know nice thing for a father to do really i'm that's my opinion right he also asked her to go skinny dipping and if you don't know what skinny dipping actually is because you may have heard the term it is when um, you get you take all your clothes off you get naked and you go in the pool or the sea or whatever right that's what that is and he wanted to do that with a 16 year old girl so that that is everything that did actually happen and there's no debate over it um it's been proven to have happened and you make up your mind as a, a devoted ingham family lover whether or not you think that that is acceptable okay so you you might think well it's a one-off people make mistakes and they do right i'm not excusing what he did but people do make mistakes they do however he also did the same or similar to a 17 year old now this 17 year old was hugely um troubled she had Um, very bad um, mental health issues and Chris took advantage of that this 17 year old told Chris that she was basically suicidal and that she was almost and she almost ended up in hospital Chris said to her come and um, instead of suggesting that she go and get help or sending her to somebody who could help he said why don't you come and and hang out with me it would help you to hang out with someone who is as chill in his word in his words as chill as i am that's what he said and suggested that would help her rather than actually getting any help and she came back with that she was she had been sat near a bridge and she was crying and she was you know sounded very very bad and chris's response to that again was well come out come and hang out with me then and make things better in your life by having a chill as fuck mate like me that is what chris told a suicidal girl and uh, aside from that um this same girl sent chris a picture a photo and uh, she was wearing like a, a hoodie and chris replied to that and said resend it without the hoodie on 
and she said why and Chris said because I want to see what your body looks like you're gorgeous etc that actually happened and um, it's undeniable so you can see what Chris's intentions were when he was trying to um, talk a suicidal girl into coming to meet with him instead of sending her to somebody who could help and she really really did need help okay aside from those there was the 21 year old now i know what you're going to say she's 21 she has a mind of her own now it's up for debate whether or not she was mentally well enough to um to you know i don't know i don't really have an opinion over this but at the end of the day she was a fan and she did meet up with chris and had sex with him and that is the fact and that has been confirmed by sarah herself so you know when you say that chris and sarah are these amazing parents and amazing family and everything these are the things that actually have happened and that is without delving into the really bad stuff which followed after that so my question is again given these facts and this is really just the beginning and this is without knowing if he's messaged anybody else why would you give i mean i know you supported him and you supported the family you watched them but why would you give this man 400 pounds knowing this information and knowing that you can't trust him why would you trust him with so much money based off him saying that you could get rich or you will get rich and then knowing this information and put the two together the two doesn't they don't add up if that makes sense it doesn't make sense so my question was that basically why would you trust him with your money with that amount of money especially after he's asked you to buy a book which is going to make you rich you buy the book for a tenner once you bought the book for a tenner he asks you to join a forum for 10 pounds a month in order to get more information and once you've done that he then asks you to pay 400 pounds for a course i saw somebody say that they've bought the course but now don't know what to do and chris's reply to that was well come and join our forum which costs 10 pounds a month now having just taken 400 pounds off this person i found it a little bit cheeky to then ask her to also pay 10 pounds to get help for for a course which she should this person should have help with just for buying the course you know it's called after sales care um that's generally what happens when you buy products anyway um yeah that's just my thoughts i know this is um, a bit of a chatty video but i just wanted to put these things down and just ask the information ask the iPhone really why they would uh, support a person like this you know put everything else aside i know most people think that i hate the inghams and i'm a hater and i will say anything to discredit them but i've given you actual facts here actual facts which are undeniable and uh it's just it would be interesting for me to know why you would support him in this particular venture okay so uh that is that if you have appreciated this video please give it a thumbs up comment all your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new until next time have a lovely day take care of yourselves 
and bye-bye.